So, Megan, let, let's start with that. We already know about the champ. We know what a man in this can do. But what tools does Irini Aldana have to pull off the upset? It's the striking that Aldana brings to the table that makes me so excited about this particular fight. She is the willingness to sit down in the pocket and trade, but she's not a sloppy striker to say the least. She's technical, she's crisp, she's clean. She can strike going any direction. And that's what potentially can pose a threat to Amanda Nunez. We've seen Nunez have some issues with Juliana Pena in the striking department. In both of their fights, Aldana's striking is levels above Pena. Now for Pena, it was about her inability to close the range. Aldana though, she has the footwork, she's got the timing, and if she can find that range early, I mean, she has potentially one of the biggest chances that we've seen in a while to put away the champ on the feet. Jimmy, but I mean, when you have a champ so dominant like Amanda Nunez, it really comes down to what is she fighting for now as she moves into this kind of Amanda 2.0 in her career? Like, how much longer do you really see her doing this? That's an excellent question. I talked to her a couple days ago. Basically, she said, I'm going till the wheels fall off. I'm going till I can't do anymore. Do it anymore. Megan, how many times have we heard that, right? Then <laughs> yep. things start getting sore. You have trouble getting out of bed. I don't want any comments about my age. You have trouble getting out of bed, and you start changing your mind. She's playing with house money. She's all ready to go. She's already number one. She holds virtually every record in women's MMA. So... She has virtually nothing to lose. I hate saying nothing to lose in MMA. You can lose your health. You can lose a lot of things. But she's fighting like she has nothing to lose. How long will she go? Well, let's say she's victorious on Saturday. Maybe a re rematch with Juliana Pena. Maybe by then there's an interesting challenger. I would say maybe two more after Saturday. If she chooses to continue going, I would say Saturday and then maybe two more. But you've been in there with the Lioness, right? You, you can watch the tape. Uh -huh. you, you, you can watch the fights. <laughs> What's it like when you're actually in there with her? What's the toughest part? For me, it was that overhand right. She throws that overhand right at such an odd angle that you can prepare for it, you can train for it, you can have training partners trying to emulate it in the gym, but when you get in there and she throws it at you and she hits you with it, it is a completely different story, and she has this uncanny ability, whether it's from Orthodox or from Southpaw, to land that right hand money right on the ear or right behind the ear, and she will throw out your equilibrium every single time. And the accuracy, despite that punch being very looping, and she comes from that wide, you know, trying that blind spot, I mean, is very, very dangerous. And that's one thing that until you're in there, you don't really know how to adjust. And usually it's when you're kind of getting finished is when you start to really come back to it. Well, that is